Question one. In California, what is the primary purpose of developing an asset management strategy? A. To improve marketing efforts. B. To align asset management practices with organizational goals and objectives. C. To increase product diversity. D. To enhance customer satisfaction. Correct answer. B. To align asset management practices with organizational goals and objectives. Explanation. An asset management strategy aims to align asset management practices with the organization's strategic goals and objectives, ensuring that assets contribute effectively to achieving these goals. It involves setting clear objectives, actions, and resource allocations to manage assets systematically. ISO 55001 2014 Clause 6.2 Question 2. Mr. Anderson from Texas is identifying risks associated with a critical piece of machinery in the manufacturing plant. What should he prioritize in his risk assessment? A. Enhancing the machinery's aesthetic appeal. B. Identifying potential failure modes, evaluating their impact on production, and developing mitigation strategies. C. Increasing the machinery's operating speed. D. Reducing employee training programs. Correct answer. B. Identifying potential failure modes, evaluating their impact on production, and developing mitigation strategies. Explanation. In risk assessment, it is crucial to identify potential failure modes, evaluate their impact on production, and develop mitigation strategies to manage risks effectively. This ensures the reliability and performance of critical assets minimizing downtime and operational disruptions. ISO 55001 2014 Clause 6.1 Question 3. In Florida, why is stakeholder engagement crucial in asset management? A. To increase employee salaries. B. To ensure that the needs and perspectives of stakeholders are considered, leading to better decision-making and alignment with organizational goals. C. To reduce marketing expenses. D. To enhance product features. Correct answer. B. To ensure that the needs and perspectives of stakeholders are considered, leading to better decision-making and alignment with organizational goals. Explanation. Engaging stakeholders in asset management ensures that their needs and perspectives are considered, leading to better decision-making and alignment with organizational goals. Effective stakeholder engagement improves communication, trust, and collaboration, contributing to the successful implementation of asset management practices. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 4.2 Question 4. In New York, what is a key component of an asset management policy? A. Detailed descriptions of each asset. B. Commitment to continuous improvement, alignment with organizational goals, and stakeholder engagement. C. Employee satisfaction surveys. D. Customer feedback mechanisms. Correct answer. B. Commitment to continuous improvement, alignment with organizational goals, and stakeholder engagement. Explanation. An asset management policy should include a commitment to continuous improvement, alignment with organizational goals, and stakeholder engagement. These components ensure that the policy supports the organization's strategic direction and promotes effective asset management practices. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 5.2 Question 5. A Miss Johnson from Pennsylvania is preparing for an internal audit of the asset management system. What should her audit plan include? A. Focus on increasing product sales. B. Define the audit scope and objectives. Develop a detailed audit plan and schedule on-site assessments. C. Enhance employee benefits. D. Assess customer satisfaction metrics. Correct answer. B. Define the audit scope and objectives. Develop a detailed audit plan and schedule on-site assessments. Explanation. An internal audit plan should include defining the audit scope and objectives, developing a detailed audit plan, and scheduling on-site assessments. These steps ensure a systematic evaluation of the asset management system, identifying areas for improvement and ensuring compliance with ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.2. Question 6. In Illinois. What is the significance of maintaining documented information in asset management? A. To increase product prices. B. To ensure data accuracy, provide evidence of compliance, and support decision making. C. To enhance marketing strategies. D. To boost employee morale. Correct answer. 
B, to ensure data accuracy, provide evidence of compliance, and support decision making. Explanation. Maintaining documented information is crucial in asset management to ensure data accuracy, provide evidence of compliance, and support decision making. Accurate and reliable information is essential for effective asset management and meeting ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 7.5. Question 7. Mr. Carter from Virginia is developing a strategic asset management plan, Sam. What should be his primary focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Aligning the plan with organizational objectives, aligning strategic initiatives, and allocating necessary resources. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Aligning the plan with organizational objectives, aligning strategic initiatives, and allocating necessary resources. Explanation. A strategic asset management plan SAMP, should focus on aligning the plan with organizational objectives, aligning strategic initiatives, and allocating necessary resources. This ensures that the asset management activities are in line with the organization's strategic goals and contribute to its success. ISO 55001 2014 Clause 6.2 Question 8. In Georgia, what is the purpose of performance evaluation in asset management? A. To design new products. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. C. To increase employee bonuses. D. To boost marketing campaigns. Correct answer. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. Explanation. Performance evaluation in asset management aims to monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system, identifying areas for improvement. This process ensures continuous improvement and alignment with organizational objectives, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.1. Question 9. Miss Martinez from North Carolina is conducting a management review of the asset management system. What should she focus on? A. Enhancing product features. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001 and identifying opportunities for improvement. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. A management review should focus on evaluating the asset management system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. This review helps in maintaining and enhancing the system's effectiveness, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.3. Question 10. In Ohio, why is it important to align asset management objectives with organizational goals? A. To increase product variety. B. To ensure that asset management activities support the overall strategic direction and success of the organization. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost customer satisfaction. Correct answer. B. To ensure that asset management activities support the overall strategic direction and success of the organization. Explanation. Aligning asset management objectives with organizational goals ensures that asset management activities contribute to the strategic direction and success of the organization. This alignment helps in maximizing the value derived from assets and achieving organizational objectives, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 11. Mr. Lewis from Michigan is identifying the information requirements for the asset management system. What should he prioritize? A. Marketing strategies for new products. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. C. Employee satisfaction surveys. D. Customer feedback mechanisms. Correct answer. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. Explanation. Identifying information requirements for the asset management system involves ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability. Reliable information is essential for effective decision making and maintaining compliance with ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 7.5. Question 12. 
in Massachusetts, what is the role of key performance indicators, KPIS, in asset management? A, to increase employee bonuses. B, to measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. C, to enhance marketing campaigns. D, to reduce product prices. Correct answer. B, to measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. Explanation. Key performance indicators, KPIS, are essential in asset management to measure the performance of the system and provide data for informed decision making. KPIs help in tracking progress towards objectives and identifying areas for improvement, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.1. Question 13. Miss Brown from Arizona is preparing for a management review of the asset management system. What should she focus on? A. Enhancing product features. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. A management review should focus on evaluating the asset management system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. This review helps in maintaining and enhancing the system's effectiveness, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.3. Question 14. In Washington, why is it critical to establish a strategic asset management plan? Same. A. To design new products. B. To provide a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost marketing campaigns. Correct answer. B. To provide a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. Explanation. A strategic asset management plan, SAMP, provides a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. It outlines the strategic initiatives and resource allocation necessary for effective asset management, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 15. Mr. Walker from Oregon is developing an asset management plan, AMP. What should be his main focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. Explanation. An asset management plan. AMP should include detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. This ensures a comprehensive approach to managing assets effectively and achieving organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 16. In Colorado, what is the role of leadership in asset management according to ISO 55001? A. To increase product prices. B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. C. To enhance marketing strategies. D. To boost employee morale. Correct answer. B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. Explanation. Leadership in asset management involves establishing a vision and direction for asset management and ensuring that the necessary resources are available. Effective leadership is crucial for implementing and maintaining an asset management system that aligns with organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 5. Question 17. A Miss Davis from New Jersey is conducting a risk assessment for a new asset. What should she prioritize? A. Increasing the asset's operating speed. B. Identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. C. Enhancing the asset's aesthetic appeal. D. Reducing employee training programs. Correct answer. B. Identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. Explanation. In risk assessment, it is crucial to identify potential risks 
evaluate their impact, and develop mitigation strategies to manage risks effectively. This ensures the reliability and performance of the asset, minimizing downtime and operational disruptions. ISO 55001, 2014 call 6.1. Question 18. In Minnesota, why is it essential to ensure compliance with legal and regulatory requirements in asset management? A. To increase product prices. B. To avoid legal penalties, ensure safe operation, and maintain organizational reputation. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost customer loyalty. Correct answer. B. To avoid legal penalties, ensure safe operation, and maintain organizational reputation. Explanation. Ensuring compliance with legal and regulatory requirements in asset management is essential to avoid legal penalties, ensure safe operation, and maintain the organization's reputation. Compliance helps in mitigating risks and ensuring the effective and responsible management of assets. ISO 55001, 2014 call 6.1. Question 19. Mr. Garcia from Nevada is identifying the information requirements for the asset management system. What should he consider? A. Marketing strategies for new products. B. Types of information needed. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability. C. Employee satisfaction surveys. D. Customer feedback mechanisms. Correct answer. B. Types of information needed. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability. Explanation. Identifying information requirements for the asset management system involves considering the types of information needed and ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability. Reliable information is essential for effective decision-making and maintaining compliance with ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 call 7.5. Question 20. In Tennessee, what is the role of documented information in asset management? A. To increase product prices. B. To provide evidence of compliance, support decision-making, and ensure data accuracy. C. To enhance marketing strategies. D. To boost employee morale. Correct answer. B. To provide evidence of compliance, support decision-making, and ensure data accuracy. Explanation. Documented information in asset management provides evidence of compliance, supports decision-making, and ensures data accuracy. Maintaining accurate and reliable information is essential for effective asset management and meeting ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 call 7.5. Question 21. Amiss. Smith from Indiana is preparing for a management review of the asset management system. What should she focus on? A. Enhancing product features. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. A management review should focus on evaluating the asset management system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. This review helps in maintaining and enhancing the system's effectiveness. ISO 55001, 2014 clause 9.3. Question 22. In Utho, why is it critical to establish key performance indicators, KPIS, in asset management? A. To increase employee bonuses. B. To measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. C. To enhance marketing campaigns. D. To reduce product prices. Correct answer. B. To measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. Explanation. Establishing key performance indicators. KPIS in asset management is important to measure the performance of the system and provide data for informed decision making. KPIs help in tracking progress towards objectives and identifying areas for improvement. ISO 55001, 2014 clause 9.1. Question 23. Mr. Rodriguez from North Carolina is developing an asset management plan. AMP. What should be his main focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. 
C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. Explanation. An asset management plan AMP, should include detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. This ensures a comprehensive approach to managing assets effectively and achieving organizational goals. ISO 55001 2014 Clause 6.2 Question 24. In Kentucky, what is the role of internal audits in asset management according to ISO 55001? A. To increase product prices. B. To ensure the asset management system's compliance with ISO 55001 and identify opportunities for improvement. C. To enhance marketing strategies. D. To boost employee morale. Correct answer. B. To ensure the asset management system's compliance with ISO 55001 and identify opportunities for improvement. Explanation. Internal audits play a crucial role in ensuring the asset management system's compliance with ISO 55001 and identifying opportunities for improvement. Regular audits help in maintaining the effectiveness of the system and promoting continuous improvement. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.2 Question 25. Miss Wilson from South Carolina is developing an asset management strategy. What should be her primary focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. Explanation. An asset management strategy should focus on establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. This strategic approach ensures that asset management activities are aligned with the organization's overall objectives and contribute to its success. ISO 55001, 2014 Call 6.2 Question 26. In Alabama, what is the significance of aligning the asset management policy with organizational goals? A. To increase product variety. B. To ensure that asset management supports the strategic direction and success of the organization. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost customer satisfaction. Correct answer. B. To ensure that asset management supports the strategic direction and success of the organization. Explanation. Aligning the asset management policy with organizational goals ensures that asset management supports the strategic direction and success of the organization. This alignment helps in maximizing the value derived from assets and achieving organizational objectives. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 5.2 Question 27. Mr. Thompson from Washington is preparing for a management review of the asset management system. What should he focus on? A. Enhancing product features. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. A management review should focus on evaluating the asset management system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. This review helps in maintaining and enhancing the system's effectiveness. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.3 Question 28. In Virginia, why is it essential to establish a strategic asset management plan, SAMP? A. To design new products. B. To provide a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost marketing campaigns. Correct answer. B. To provide a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. Explanation. A strategic asset management plan, SAMP, provides a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. 
It outlines the strategic initiatives and resource allocation necessary for effective asset management. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 29. Ms. Harris from California is identifying the information requirements for the asset management system. What should she prioritize? A. Marketing strategies for new products. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. C. Employee satisfaction surveys. D. Customer feedback mechanisms. Correct answer. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. Explanation. Identifying information requirements for the asset management system involves ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability. Reliable information is essential for effective decision making and maintaining compliance with ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 7.5. Question 30. In New York, what is the purpose of performance evaluation and asset management? A. To design new products. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. C. To increase employee bonuses. D. To boost marketing campaigns. Correct answer. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. Explanation. Performance evaluation in asset management aims to monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system, identifying areas for improvement. This process ensures continuous improvement and alignment with organizational objectives, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.1. Question 31. In Florida, what is the role of stakeholder consultation in asset management? A. To increase product prices. B. To understand stakeholder needs and expectations, ensuring their involvement in decision-making processes. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost customer loyalty. Correct answer. B. To understand stakeholder needs and expectations, ensuring their involvement in decision-making processes. Explanation. Stakeholder consultation in asset management involves understanding stakeholder needs and expectations, ensuring their involvement in decision-making processes. Effective stakeholder consultation fosters transparency, trust, and better alignment of asset management strategies with organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 4.2. Question 32. Mr. Adams from Texas is planning to implement a new asset management system. What is his first step? A. Increasing the budget for marketing. B. Understanding the context of the organization and defining the scope of the asset management system. C. Enhancing product features. D. Reducing employee training programs. Correct answer. B. Understanding the context of the organization and defining the scope of the asset management system. Explanation. The first step in implementing a new asset management system is understanding the context of the organization and defining the scope of the asset management system. This ensures that the system is tailored to the organization's specific needs and objectives, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 4.1. Question 33. In Illinois, what is the significance of risk management and asset management? A. To increase product variety. B. To identify, assess, and manage risks associated with assets, ensuring their reliability and performance. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost customer satisfaction. Correct answer. B. To identify, assess, and manage risks associated with assets, ensuring their reliability and performance. Explanation. Risk management and asset management is essential for identifying, assessing, and managing risks associated with assets. Effective risk management ensures asset reliability and performance, minimizing downtime and operational disruptions, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.1. Question 34. Ms. Johnson from Ohio is developing a strategic asset management plan, SAMP. What should be her primary focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Question 34. Ms. Johnson from Ohio is developing a strategic asset management plan, SAMP. 
what should be her primary focus? A, enhancing product features. B, establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. C, increasing sales targets. D, improving customer service. Question 35. In Pennsylvania, what is the purpose of documented information in asset management? A, to increase product prices. B, to provide evidence of compliance, support decision making, and ensure data accuracy. C, to enhance marketing strategies. D, to boost employee morale. Correct answer. B, to provide evidence of compliance, support decision making, and ensure data accuracy. Explanation. Documented information in asset management provides evidence of compliance, supports decision making, and ensures data accuracy. Maintaining accurate and reliable information is essential for effective asset management and meeting ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 7.5. Question 36. Mr. White from Michigan is conducting an internal audit of the asset management system. What should he prioritize? A. Enhancing product features. B. Ensuring the system's compliance with ISO 55001 and identifying opportunities for improvement. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Ensuring the system's compliance with ISO 55001 and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. An internal audit should prioritize ensuring the asset management system's compliance with ISO 55001 and identifying opportunities for improvement. Regular audits help in maintaining the effectiveness of the system and promoting continuous improvement, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.2. Question 37. In Georgia, why is it critical to establish key performance indicators, KPIS, in asset management? A. To increase employee bonuses. B. To measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. C. To enhance marketing campaigns. D. To reduce product prices. Correct answer. B. To measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. Explanation. Establishing key performance indicators. KPIS in asset management is important to measure the performance of the system and provide data for informed decision making. KPIs help in tracking progress towards objectives and identifying areas for improvement, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.1. Question 38. Ms. Brown from Virginia is developing an asset management plan. AMP. What should be her main focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. Explanation. An asset management plan. AMP should include detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. This ensures a comprehensive approach to managing assets effectively and achieving organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 39. In Massachusetts, what is the role of leadership in asset management according to ISO 55001? A. To increase product prices. B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. C. To enhance marketing strategies. D. To boost employee morale. Correct answer. B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. Explanation. Leadership in asset management involves establishing a vision and direction for asset management and ensuring that the necessary resources are available. Effective leadership is crucial for implementing and maintaining an asset management system that aligns with organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 5. Question 40. Mr. Martinez from Arizona is preparing for a management review of the asset management system. What should he focus on? A. Enhancing product features. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001 and identifying opportunities for improvement. 
C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. A management review should focus on evaluating the asset management system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. This review helps in maintaining and enhancing the system's effectiveness. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.3. Question 41. In Maryland, what is the significance of aligning the asset management policy with organizational goals? A. To increase product variety. B. To ensure that asset management supports the strategic direction and success of the organization. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost customer satisfaction. Correct answer. B. To ensure that asset management supports the strategic direction and success of the organization. Explanation. Aligning the asset management policy with organizational goals ensures that asset management supports the strategic direction and success of the organization. This alignment helps in maximizing the value derived from assets and achieving organizational objectives. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 5.2. Question 42. Mr. Lopez from Nevada is identifying the information requirements for the asset management system. What should he prioritize? A. Marketing strategies for new products. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. C. Employee satisfaction surveys. D. Customer feedback mechanisms. Correct answer. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. Explanation. Identifying information requirements for the asset management system involves ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability. Reliable information is essential for effective decision making and maintaining compliance with ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 7.5. Question 43. In North Dakota, what is the purpose of performance evaluation in asset management? A. To design new products. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. C. To increase employee bonuses. D. To boost marketing campaigns. Correct answer. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. Explanation. Performance evaluation in asset management aims to monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system, identifying areas for improvement. This process ensures continuous improvement and alignment with organizational objectives, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.1. Question 44. Mr. King from Missouri is conducting a risk assessment for a new asset. What should he prioritize? A. Increasing the asset's operating speed. B. Identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. C. Enhancing the asset's aesthetic appeal. D. Reducing employee training programs. Correct answer. B. Identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. Explanation. Conducting a risk assessment involves identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. This process is crucial for ensuring the asset's reliability and performance and for minimizing operational disruptions. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.1. Question 45. In Colorado, why is it essential to establish a strategic asset management plan? Same. A. To design new products. B. To provide a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost marketing campaigns. Correct answer. B. To provide a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. Explanation. A strategic asset management plan, SAMP, provides a comprehensive framework for managing assets in line with organizational objectives. It outlines the strategic initiatives and resource allocation necessary for effective asset management. ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 46. A Ms. Thompson from Alabama is developing an asset management plan. AMP. What should be her main focus? A. 
enhancing product features. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. Explanation. An asset management plan AMP, should include detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. This ensures a comprehensive approach to managing assets effectively and achieving organizational goals. ISO 55001 2014 Clause 6.2 Question 47. In Washington, what is the role of leadership in asset management according to ISO 55001A to increase product prices? B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. C. To enhance marketing strategies. D. To boost employee morale. Correct answer. B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. Explanation. Leadership in asset management involves establishing a vision and direction for asset management and ensuring that the necessary resources are available. Effective leadership is crucial for implementing and maintaining an asset management system that aligns with organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 5. Question 48. Mr. Clark from Minnesota is preparing for a management review of the asset management system. What should he focus on? A. Enhancing product features. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. A management review should focus on evaluating the asset management system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. This review helps in maintaining and enhancing the system's effectiveness. ISO 55001, 2014 calls 9.3. Question 49. In Indiana, why is it critical to establish key performance indicators, KPIS, in asset management? A. To increase employee bonuses. B. To measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. C. To enhance marketing campaigns. D. To reduce product prices. Correct answer. B. To measure the performance of the asset management system and provide data for informed decision making. Explanation. Establishing key performance indicators, KPIS, in asset management is important to measure the performance of the system and provide data for informed decision making. KPIs help in tracking progress towards objectives and identifying areas for improvement, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.1. Question 50. The Miss Allen from Oregon is identifying the information requirements for the asset management system. What should she prioritize? A. Marketing strategies for new products. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. C. Employee satisfaction surveys. D. Customer feedback mechanisms. Correct answer. B. Ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability for effective decision making. Explanation. Identifying information requirements for the asset management system involves ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and reliability. Reliable information is essential for effective decision making and maintaining compliance with ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 7.5. Question 51. In California, what is the main purpose of conducting internal audits for asset management systems? A. To increase sales. B. To evaluate the effectiveness of the asset management system and ensure compliance with ISO 55001. C. To boost employee morale. D. To enhance customer satisfaction. Correct answer. B. To evaluate the effectiveness of the asset management system and ensure compliance with ISO 55001. Explanation. 
internal audits are conducted to evaluate the effectiveness of the asset management system and ensure compliance with ISO 55001. They help in identifying areas for improvement and ensuring that the system is operating as intended, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.2. Question 52. Mr. Roberts from New York is developing an asset management policy for his organization. What should be his primary consideration? A. Enhancing product features. B. Aligning the policy with the organization's strategic objectives and stakeholder needs. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Aligning the policy with the organization's strategic objectives and stakeholder needs. Explanation. An asset management policy should be aligned with the organization's strategic objectives and stakeholder needs. This ensures that asset management activities contribute to achieving the broader goals of the organization and satisfy stakeholder expectations, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 5.2. Question 53. In Texas, why is it important to maintain documented information for asset management? A. To enhance marketing campaigns. B. To provide evidence of compliance, ensure data accuracy, and support decision making. C. To increase product variety. D. To boost employee benefits. Correct answer. B. To provide evidence of compliance, ensure data accuracy, and support decision making. Explanation. Maintaining documented information is crucial for providing evidence of compliance, ensuring data accuracy, and supporting decision making. Accurate documentation is necessary for effective asset management and meeting ISO 55001 requirements, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 7.5. Question 54. Ms. B. from Washington is preparing a strategic asset management plan. Sam. What should be her primary focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. Explanation. A strategic asset management plan SAMP, should focus on establishing clear asset management objectives, actions, and resource allocation to achieve organizational goals. This ensures that asset management activities are aligned with the organization's overall objectives and contribute to its success, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 55. In Ohio, what is the significance of performance evaluation in asset management? A. To design new products. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. C. To increase employee bonuses. D. To boost marketing campaigns. Correct answer. B. To monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. Explanation. Performance evaluation in asset management aims to monitor and measure the effectiveness of the asset management system and identify areas for improvement. This process ensures continuous improvement and alignment with organizational objectives, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.1. Question 56. Mr. Thompson from Florida is conducting a risk assessment for a new asset. What should he prioritize? A. Increasing the asset's operating speed. B. Identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. C. Enhancing the asset's aesthetic appeal. D. Reducing employee training programs. Correct answer. B. Identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. Explanation. Conducting a risk assessment involves identifying potential risks, evaluating their impact, and developing mitigation strategies. This process is crucial for ensuring the asset's reliability and performance and for minimizing operational disruptions, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.1. Question 57. In Michigan, why is stakeholder involvement critical in asset management? A. To increase product prices. B. To understand and address stakeholder needs and expectations, ensuring their involvement in decision-making processes. C. To enhance employee benefits. D. To boost customer loyalty. Correct answer. 
B, to understand and address stakeholder needs and expectations, ensuring their involvement in decision-making processes. Explanation. Stakeholder involvement in asset management involves understanding and addressing stakeholder needs and expectations, ensuring their involvement in decision-making processes. Effective stakeholder engagement fosters transparency, trust, and better alignment of asset management strategies with organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 4.2. Question 58. A miss. Wilson from Georgia is developing an asset management plan. Amp. What should be her main focus? A. Enhancing product features. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. Explanation. An asset management plan AMP, should include detailed information on the management of specific assets, including objectives, actions, and resources required. This ensures a comprehensive approach to managing assets effectively and achieving organizational goals, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 6.2. Question 59. In Illinois, what is the role of leadership in asset management according to ISO 55001? A. To increase product prices. B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. C. To enhance marketing strategies. D. To boost employee morale. Correct answer. B. To establish a vision and direction for asset management and ensure that the necessary resources are available. Explanation. Leadership in asset management involves establishing a vision and direction for asset management and ensuring that the necessary resources are available. Effective leadership is crucial for implementing and maintaining an asset management system that aligns with organizational goals, as of 55,001, 2014 Clause 5. Question 60. Mr. Garcia from Pennsylvania is preparing for a management review of the asset management system. What should he focus on? A. Enhancing product features. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. C. Increasing sales targets. D. Improving customer service. Correct answer. B. Evaluating the system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. Explanation. A management review should focus on evaluating the asset management system's performance, ensuring compliance with ISO 55001, and identifying opportunities for improvement. This review helps in maintaining and enhancing the system's effectiveness, ISO 55001, 2014 Clause 9.3.